So I'm Stefan Roy. Doesn't really matter what I do. Uh, it's not about who I am. It's about what I have to show you. And that is creating a graph client for your own API. So what Microsoft does is they make a specification of their API, like I'm going to show you in a second. And then they use Kyoto to generate their graph client. So if you are used to working with a graph client in C Sharp or in Python or in Java, it is generated with Kyoto. Kyoto is also open source by Microsoft. And that is what I will, will be showing you today. So, I built an API just for this. You can add users and specify what your favorite animal is. And I generated the client for it. And in the end, I'll be showing how to use the client to get data from this API. So I built an API. Here is the link to the source. I think David will put it in the chat. <laughs> in a second, <laughs> or I will do it. Um, it has Swagger uh, UI enabled. So that looks like this. Uh, here you could actually download the uh, specification of my API. Uh, you can get users. And if nobody broke it yet, it should reply with two users. Feel free to add your own. There's no protection. But don't mess up my demo, please. So I'm going to show how you can generate a client for this API. Uh, in the previous slide, I showed you the URL. That was https demoapi.mydomain.io slash swagger, blah, blah. It was in previous slide. This URL is what you need to generate a client. Uh, then it's just called Kyoto. I want to generate a C Sharp client in this case. This is the class that my client will be called. It should be in this namespace, and it should be in this directory. So how will that look if we execute this command? I'm going to scroll up a little bit because it happened so fast. So I execute Kyoto generate language C sharp. I want this file, this namespace. Here's the definition. Put it in the generated folder. Oh yeah, and I want to clean the output folder because I wanted to regenerate it. So let's see what this did then. It generated my API client. Uh, in the graph case, this would be called a graph service client. But if you check the source in the C Sharp version, it's just a base request builder in the end. Uh, it has users. It also has the default uh, endpoint to get weather. Uh, this is all generated. You don't have to look at it. It's all done for you. What happens next? OK, now we have this API, and we want to actually call the API. I made a console app. It will write, hello world. It sets up the base URI of my API. It creates an HTTP client, sets the base address, and then it calls HTTP client get string async users. So this will call the user's endpoint, and it will then put it in the console. That's my output. But as you can see here, you still have to parse it, because this is JSON, and you cannot work with this automatically. But we also generated the client. So I changed it up a little bit. I still have the base URI. I still have the HTTP client. From, with this HTTP client, 
I now create a my API client, which is which is the file that I generated. Uh, there, as I said, there's no protection, but you can inject any other authentication provider you like. I set up the HTTP client, and then I can call var users is HTTP client users get async, and it will actually parse it. And don't believe me just yet. I will start the app. Hopefully that works. Oh, wait, I did not save it. Override, sorry. Let's start the app again. And we now have the users as a strong type Object and I see someone deleted the user, so that's someone who wants to be funny. Um, it shows the email, it shows the favorite uh, animal, and it shows the name. And as you can see, it's all parsed in strong type objects. Uh, I did not create any models for this, I just created the specs and I told Kyoto, give me a client. Um, if you work with this API client, yeah, you can see it feels and works exactly the same as uh, the graph client would. So if you're used to working with a graph client, this will make your developers do less context switching. So we have the users here. Let's say I want an extra user. So um, let's see. Extra user is await API client dot users dot post async new user name. Oh, let's add myself back because, yeah, I was deleted and I don't want that. If I now execute this, there will be two users if no one deleted the other user. Or something got wrong because I forgot a mandatory parameter. Uh, you can zoom in further uh, what the issue is and what you would need from this. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show this works exactly the same as the graph client. Um, you can also generate this at build if you're in a C Sharp project. You have to add some stuff to your uh, project file. I'm not going into deep, into that deep uh, at this uh, subject because then we're talking in a half an hour. Uh, here's a summary. You can use Kyoto to generate a client for your API, and it looks like it looks the same as a graph SDK. And you can contact me on these uh, URLs.